Away they go. Their moment of truth. Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. Clocking in, pounding gloves. The Tank and the King. Mr. KO and Mr. More than a pretty face. Garcia with his best moments of the fight. There's only one item left on the Immortal Night to do this. We want to see who's best. Fight. All that is said and done, who is it that you remember? Who carries the flags while the other becomes just another name? Glory versus shame. Reverence, remembrance versus oblivion. These are the questions that seize the fight between the two legends. The tank versus the king. Yet the fight didn't take place only in the ring. There was disrespect. There was rebrutals. So what happened in this boxing super fight? What happened when legends turned cocky? And who achieved everlasting legacy? Let's find out. But first, let's take a look at how this fight between two superstars took place. The modern day boxing arena is ruled by two youngsters, Javonta the Tank Davis and Ryan the King Garcia. Both are undefeated, powerful, and at their prime. By January of 2023, Davis had fought in 28 professional boxing bouts and won all of them. But what's more impressive is that 26 of his 28 wins came from knockouts. The opponents were not just some low-level weakling meant to hype Davis up. No, no, no. The last 13 opponents of Davis have a combined record of 318 wins and 12 losses. So yeah, David lived up to his moniker destructive and indestructible. He has exceptional fighting IQ, a keen sense of counter punching abilities, and a pack of some powerful punches. As a result, David has become a five-time champion in three different weight classes. On the other side, Ryan the King Garcia is known throughout the boxing world for his speed and agility. A professional boxer from the young age of 17, Garcia had won all 23 of his bouts by July 2022. 83% of these wins came from knockouts, proving once again that Ryan needs no judge to score the fight. With strong punches and agile movement, he embodied Muhammad Ali perfectly. Move like a butterfly, sting like a bee, his hand can't hit what his eye can see. And that what makes the king so dangerous. You can't touch him? But you surely feel his thing. Fighting pride of the high desert, Ryan Garcia! Dangerous fighting styles and a perfect record. A fight between these two warriors was written in heaven. And boy, did the fans want to see them in the ring. Fortunately for us, the young fighters also felt the same way. They wanted everlasting glory and knew the only way to obtain that was through each other. With that, the class of legends was confirmed. Tank Davis will finally face King Garcia in the boxing super fight. You look real drained. I'm not drained. You look drained. I'm not drained. You look strong. Now. You look strong. Now. Really, now. You ain't big at all. You look big at all. You look bad. You look good. You look good. You look good. All right, look at the camera. But mega fight like these often spill out off the ring. This was no exception. As soon as the fight was official, the trash talking began. While both fighters are exactly known for their humbleness, there was something about how Garcia behaved that really struck a nerve with Davis and his fans. Garcia always behaved as if he was not just a better fighter, but also a better person. He tried to paint Davis as a big bad bully and even ugly monster. 
in one of the pre-fight interview with the ESPN, Ryan made fun of how Davis looks, mocking his fake teeth. Garcia said, David looked like a dummy. Plus, in the same interview, he also mocked the way David talked. Just listen to this. Saturday you think night. That, that makes you, that makes you, were you proud of that? Proud of that? You're Can't above, you bro. Something? The way you speak, you don't think before you speak. I Hold on, right. In another face-off, Garcia straight out said that David looked drained and small. In his arrogance, the king added that the tank would look better after the fight with a broken jaw. In fact, in multiple interviews, the arrogant fighter proclaimed that he would beat David's up. And the fight would be over even before he knew what's what. Bold promises. But that's not all he did. Garcia said that David was afraid to meet him in the ring. And apparently, that is why David sending spy after spy to the king's camp to figure out the strategy. To top it all off, Garcia team also joined in this trash talk by saying that the tank team has no confidence in their fighter. Hence, they are trying to squeeze in all the so-called observed clauses. Points to a team that looks to protect their fighter. And why would they protect their fighter unless they don't think maybe he's not ready for this moment? Right. I really believe that Tank's team is worried he's going to lose. And when you're a fighter, nothing feels worse than your team not believing in you. In response, David team just said, By KO like I've been saying, and it might be early. Thank you. So now come the big question. What do you think happened in the ring after all the trash talk? On the 22nd of April 2023, both fighters entered into a complete sold-out T-Mobile arena. The fans went berserk. Whoever ended up winning, they knew they were about to win something great. And the fight did not disappoint. The 136-pound catchway bout between David and Garcia was together for 12 rounds. When you are one of the most followed athletes in sports on social media, you're used to putting on a show. You're used to having the spotlight shine bright. In the first round, it felt like Garcia would be able to back up his big words. As soon as the round started, King Garcia began to punch with tremendous speed and power. Just look at that speed. He was like the flash stone jabs and getting out of Chivota reach in an instant. So now, the tank could not do much in the first round other than trying to evade the lightning fast strike. Now, would you like to see more aggressive of Davis? Or is the defense the right way to go in the start? Could the strategy be to wear out Garcia? Let us know your thought in the comment below. The second round saw an even more pumped up Ryan Garcia. He was all in. While the tank was primarily in a defensive position, Garcia threw his hands like a pace even landing a few good punches, but the tank was far from done. While trying to protect himself, Davis was looking for the perfect gap to strike back. And finally, with one minute remaining of round two, we got a glimpse of the aggressive tank we all love and fear. With one earth shattering punch to the jaw, he made the king fall down. Javante Davis drops Ryan Garcia for the second time in his career. Although Garcia did get up before the count of 10, you could tell how severely hurt he was. Both fighters play it safe in the third and fourth round. But the big jab at the end of the second round changed the fighter's physique. Davis become more confident and start throwing the occasional punches. Garcia still made some impressive strikes here and there, but he fought more cautiously than before. However, it did not stop the tank from landing two massive hits on Ryan Garcia in the fifth round. Ouch, that must have hurt big time. But impressively, the king soldier on and dash out a beautiful punch. Strike to tank face in the sixth round. At this point, both fighters are hurt. But who in their right mind will get up so close to eternal glory? All that changed in the seventh round. Garcia started the round with new vigor, landing 
a massive punch to Tank face. At one point, it looked like David was cornered by Garcia. But the Tank made a comeback and started hitting his opponent's face. And then, BAM! With one punch to Ryan Rib, he made the King quite literally fall in half and take a knee. All those punches finally had an impact. Ryan Garcia could no longer stand up. The ref counted to 10, and the world came crashing down on the arrogant fighter's head. After all the trash talk and the arrogant gesture, the king get dethroned. And the world of boxing has a new face, Javonta Tank Davis. The king humble and silenced. The age of the tank has finally begun. Well folks, boxing has its tank, mixed martial art has its wolf, comes at the boar Chimaya. And just like the tank, this insatiable fighter is on his journey to cement his legacy in the arena of combat sport once and for all. Click this video to watch how Borg's humble cocky fighters can silence all who dare question his might. See you there!